My name is Eric Ndaishime, a research assistant at the Dana Fossey uh, Gorilla Farm. This study investigated crop breeding conflict in the golden monkeys of the Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda. Crop breeding is one of the main causes of human life conflict, challenging conservationists worldwide, and the primates are frequent raiders around many protected areas. Crop breeding negatively affects not only farmers' livelihoods, but also the conservation of the involved primate species. So why golden monkeys? They are endangered. They remain only in two isolated populations, one population in the Swati Mukura National Park and the other one in the Virunga Massif. This study focused only on golden monkeys of the Volcanoes National Park, which is part of the Virunga Massif, as you can see on this map. As you can see on this photo, the Volcanoes National Park edges are directly adjacent to farmlands and a dense and poor human population. The golden monkeys in the Volcanoes National Park basically inhabit the bamboo zone, which is the direct, the nearest to the park boundary. No records of crop breeding by the monkeys exist until at least the mid 90s. But recent studies list golden monkeys as second raiders, and the frequency by which they leave the park to raid on potatoes is increasing uh, over time. Moreover, golden monkeys challenge the existing mitigation measures. Integrated approach are recommended to attain a good understanding of human wildlife conflict scenarios and to plan for uh, alternative mitigation interventions. We use an integrated approach to uh, investigate to which extent golden monkeys crop breeding affect their conservation and farmers' livelihood, and to seek for possible alternative mitigation measures. We used a structure, a structured survey workshop, behavior observation, and a survey experiment. The, the key survey outcomes were that. 95% of participants had experienced the potato loss to golden monkeys. 36% had used the potentially harmful methods to stop raiding monkeys, like throwing stones to raiding monkeys. And a few cases of adverse impact on monkeys were described, like some monkeys were injured while being chased by farmers. Of the five measures that were discussed during the workshop, crop guarding uh, was perceived as the most effective mitigation measure. But the existing crop guarding needs to be improved through a government financial support and properly organized guarding in cooperative is also needed. Monkeys were less social, they vocalized less, they self-groomed less, the infants suckled less, they were higher uh, vigilant, more vigilant when on farmland compared to when they were inside the park, affecting a high level of perceived risk by the monkeys when outside of the park. In the test aversion experiment we tried, we used chili oil and the potatoes. The potatoes smeared with chili oil were put outside the park as shown uh, by this experimental area design you can see here. The monkeys did not eat potatoes smeared with chili oil they fed on unattained leftover potatoes instead. This suggesting that the smell chili could potentially deter the monkeys from eating crops. In conclusion, the survey outcomes and the behavior changes shown by the monkeys on farmland indicated that crop raiding by the monkeys uh, not only affect, can not only affect negatively a farmer's livelihood, but also the monkey conservation. Overall, our approach showed that the existing mitigation measures like guarding need to be improved, while alternative measures like uh, test aversion should be further explored. This will facilitate a positive coexistence between the monkeys and farmers and will ultimately improve their conservation. Thank you for your kind attention. I extend my thanks to my co-authors to the institutions and organizations that supported this study. If you have uh, questions, you are very welcome.